Hey everyone and welcome to another day in Crozarian's Den. Of course, I'm your host Crozarian and we're back with Final Fantasy 16 Part 7. This is the Hunt Down Kupka episode. Okay? We are going to go up with Hugo. Because number one, he is attacking Rosaria. And number two, as I said in the last video multiple times, Hugo and our mother are the only two characters in this game that I actually want to do harm to. They are definitely giving the Imperials a run for their money! But as Vivian said, the Imperials are barely here because they're too busy fighting the other group. I forgot what the other group they're fighting. Fortify the castle gates. But they are once. whooping that. They are whooping that butt! that okay and we got gav with us hugo and his men have been busy they've already breached the castle's outer wall the imperials are holding the ground for now but it's only a matter of time before the keep falls those fuckers really went to town on this place yeah they did almost like they want to wipe it off the map just a means to an end Not if we take them out first. What's going on? Oh, Charles Chuckabo toy. All this for one man. They didn't have to go so far. If you keep your wits about you, I reckon you can make it up to the castle without raising the alarm. I'll sniff out any townsfolk who haven't escaped yet and send them on the way. Be careful. Yes, Gav. Advice. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Please be careful, Gav. You've grown on me. You actually have. He actually has grown on me. What do you mean? I know. It's like a nightmare. This oh. was our home. That's what you mean. Come on, Clive. We have to keep going. Yeah, we do. I need to check something. Uh... Okay, there we go. Capital punishment. Oh, there's gonna be some punishment for sure, my dude. This isn't an invasion. It's a massacre. He'll stop at nothing, but Clive. Nothing. All right. Well, we'll make sure we'll give him what he wants. Okay. Which is my sword. Break me his throat. Why? Why I'm sorry, I can be a little violent. We can get through here. Hey guys, where's your boss? What? No, you. What? You? No. There's only one. You. Punishment. Get back there. Too slow.
Not saying I'm gonna need to use potion. But I may need to. Maybe. This is not gonna be a repeat of the last episode. I am not dying. What? Three times? Two, three times? I died twice in the last one. And that that was unnecessary. God damn guys. Look what we have here. Gentlemen. You're, you need more. You should have brought more. Definitely should have brought more. This one. <laughs> you should have brought. I told you. I told you you should have brought more people than that. <laughs> I tell you, dude. You thought four people? Okay, number one, I've taken out. You had to have learned how what I've done so far. Like you're hunting me. You don't hunt a target without knowing what the target is capable of, right? You shouldn't. That makes you a stupid hunter. Cut them down with me. Oh, out of our way. To protect on your dog. You stupid! The dog is so annoying because... Okay, who's doing protect? Listen here, twat. Thank you. But it makes sense they introduce protect now, I guess. Come on, take him. Oh, it's you! Hey! Ah. Alright, everyone's annoying. Ha <laughs> ha 
<laughs> Stopped you in your tracks, didn't I? Didn't I, buddy? Ow. I'm behind you, son! Cool. I am also noticing frame drops. Game hasn't dropped frames the entire time until I got here. It's because I've been playing it too long today, I guess. This is the second time I've loaded it up today. I may have to load I may load it up a third time if I get time to make a third video. Because this is still the same day as the last video. Just obviously later in the day. Hey buddies! Hurry! Hurry! Hey! Ow! No! No you don't! Follow-up shield. Thank you, baby girl. All right. Here. The only thing I can do. When you leave the castle, it ends there. Better. Yeah. Hugo. Knowing Hugo, though, they're gonna make this really drawn out. It's Hugo, so I'm I am expecting something epic, ish. Especially if they make him turn into type. He's here! Remember, he's here! We take him alive! Stay! 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 Is there a mage among you? No mages? No mages! Oh, you fudge up! Where are you? Okay, that's the only other thing I don't like. Is the targeting system in there. You act on target. Get over here. Now that I know that I can actually do the finger and it hurts you. Lose food. Get over here. Get over here. Alright. Who else wants some? Before I get to Hugo. Huh? Huh? Set her loose. Oh, ooh. They have a curl. A targle. A targle, baby boy. Attack! Ready? What do you think? I, I know you, I, I know you big guard dog, but I don't think you that kind of guard dog. <laughs> okay, gotta learn. First, though, beat down. Okay. Get 
Pappe. Combo there. It's building up to something. We need to stop it. Whatever it takes. It's down. Then let's make this count. easier than I thought it was going to be. Got the whiskers! Ah. Jill! Mm. We meet at last. If you what hurt I Jill, I Ross. swear. I've been looking for you for a very long time. Let her go, Kuka. <laughs> I'm so glad you accepted my invitation. Ooh. I went to some trouble with the decorations. I should have thought of something like this happening because we killed Benedict. You like what I've done with the place? And that was Bastard. his love interest, and Jill's our love interest, so it's only fair to go after her too. Such a pity your predecessor couldn't join us, but I am sure you will prove compelling company. Jill, don't do anything stupid. Please don't. Be still, little snowflake. I would not have you melt before your starring moment. Mm. I can't do anything. Fuck. 
Uh, yeah, just... You can't fight me, huh, though? Now, on to the festive. Ooh, Hugo. The longer this drags on, the worse I'm gonna beat you. Good job, Torgal. Get out of here. Get Gav. Oh, oh there you go. That's just great, that is. I suppose it's up to me then. Yep, yep, Gav, your shining moment. Woo! Oh, I know what's gonna go down. He's gonna try. He's gonna That's cut one. off her head in front of us. Do you want me? You bring the prisoner. <laughs> mm. Yes, no more than she deserves for getting into bed with an outlaw. <laughs> we should get into mine. <laughs> you, you guys do Lord know. Commands your presence. You're to bear witness to the girl's execution. Such a waste. Good job, Gav. Gav. Shh. Crystal fetters are a bastard to open, just so you know. Don't worry, I'll have them off before you can blink. Where's Jill? In the courtyard. Shit. Let's go. Get up. We have to hurry. The yeah. The Imperials have sounded the retreat and cleared out of the castle. But the place is still swarming with Kubka's men. Leave them to me. I'll make my way up top and circle round the back. Quick as you like, eh? Ah. Yeah, I kind of need my weapon. Thank you. Nearly forgot. Oh, 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 Hugo. Hold on, Jill. Oh, I'm, a, oh, I'm, a, I'm coming mm. in. Oh, if something happens to Jill. If something happens to my baby girl. Oh. I have to get to the courtyard. Where's Torgal? Torgal! I need your assistance. Better not. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> Go. I hope you've got a plan, Clive, because we are fucked if you don't. <laughs> Torgal. 
My boy. Oh. Oh. Is he? Is that? Is that? Don't tell me you tire of my entertainment. Oh, you're next, buddy. Come down. Perhaps it is time we served the main repast. Come down here. Torgal, my dude. Much obliged. Stay close. We're getting out of here. And Toggle, thank you. Ah, Torgal! Just did. See you later. Everyone, with me. That includes you, Toggle. Torgal, go! got a hit on me okay that's done hugo where are you at because i'm mm -mm, mm -mm, it's going down now 
Level 30! It's over. For now. But I bet that wasn't the last of them. And they won't stop Torgo. hunting us until Torgo is our is beast dead. now. <laughs> so you get in there and finish oh, the job, eh? Oh, okay. So, so obviously... If they come again, we'll hold them back. All right. But be careful. Obviously, that's not going to be a permanent form for Torgo. Obviously, it's not. As much as I want it to be, this is not going to be Torgo's permanent mode now. But I hope I can trigger it with something. I promise you, Sid. You'll die by my hand. That's right! Anything up here? No? Okay, there's another video. Alright. I've been waiting for this for a long time, Hugo. You're late. Trouble on the way. Just enjoying your entertainment. How gratifying. Have you come to defend your Captain, father's not, I don't know how they can sleep with me being Lord so loud. Rosfield, <laughs> the Grand Duchy of Rosaria. A realm without a ruler, an army, even a people, a veritable kingdom of dust. Truly, I see no throne to defend. No! It's okay. It's just a throne. We can make another one. Enough of your games, Kuka. Just tell me what you want. Sit Other than my in a box. Imagine my disappointment when I learned that he met his end at the hand okay of another. With this age? And my relief to learn that you had taken up his thrice damned name. Who pit Benedicta's head in a box? Your master slew Benedicta Harmon and defiled her body. If you choose to bear that murderer's name, then you shall answer for his crimes. The only crimes I shall answer for are my own. Sid did everything in his power to save that woman, though she was long past saving. And so I did what he couldn't. It was me all along, Hugo. It was you. Yeah. Sid absolutely was helpful. You. You killed her. Yeah. She had it coming. I did. How long were you to a thing to to have Mindy. this kind of emotion for her, my dude? I had thought the most I could wish for was to take the life of one he loved, just as he did to me. But it seemed I was wrong. He had her talents in you, hardcore, my dude. And I shall have my revenge. Shared a dream. I would be the king of the world. She would be my queen. And together, we would rule like the gods we are. But you crushed that dream. Ground into dust. This is amazing. Hear me, Rosfield. You will pay. 
I'll tear you apart with my bats! Sure about that? And what of you? How many people have you killed? How many dreams have you crushed? You're not the only one who's seen their world fall apart around them. You'll get no pity from me, Kuka. No pity. And no mercy. That's right! Oh, I'm about to beat you. Keep this up. Keep it going. And the music. The music is always so great. There's only been one time playing this game where the music dipped. <laughs> and that was after we came to the realization that we killed our brother. But that. Let's not focus on that. Let's focus on me whooping his ass. The world has chosen. I am in my element. And? 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 What, you think that's gonna somehow increase your chances of winning? Third one. 
see. I got it. God damn it. I was trying not to move. Block out of here, son. What? Oh, no. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude. Mm-hmm. Oh, 
Again, boy! Learn your blur! Don't you dare, controller. We haven't done that one for a while. in my controller. Ah. <laughs> uh. Okay. Okay. <sighs> turn in the Titan. I dare you. I dare you turn in the Titan. Cuz that that's the fight. That's definitely the fight I'm looking forward to. If we even fight him as when he's in Titan. Form. I don't know if they're going to make that happen. Mm. Clive, get up, Clive. Get up. <laughs> hey, hey, bro, you need a hand? <laughs> or two? Oh, Clive, thank you. Thank you so much. Now kill him. Finish the job. Something's gonna happen, obviously. Son of a whore! You changing? Or am I taking it? Oh, I'm taking it. I thought he was about to change. Granted, if he changed. Bro, calm down. I mean, he has to be losing a lot of blood, right? Right? You would think. But obviously not. What are you gonna do now? I'll fucking kill you. With what hands? <laughs> there. That. You mustn't get yourself worked up. That's the Bahamut guy, right? Wait. Another time, Mythos. Or... That was the guy who's Bahamut, right? No, was it? Because he, he uses a spear. Is that all of them? I think so. Well, Luda scum. Who the fuck invited them? Not that that's the biggest surprise we've had today. Where did you learn to do that toggle? Not telling, eh? Suit yourself. Does it have something to do with the Gaff, brace on his we leg? We have to find Clive. Or is that just to signify right. that he's mine? Sorry. Oh, come on. Is this how Gav gets... No. Okay. I'm about to say... If this is what they do to Gav... This one. We were worried. I'm alright. So was I. Oh, that 
I was great. If it hadn't been for my gift, I would have finished him. I'm just glad you got out of there alive. Me too. When did the royalists arrive? Right after you went inside. Man, just when we thought. No, so these are the guys who work for Odin, right? Yeah. The sole surviving nation in Ash, Wol Wol Wolod, I don't remember how to say his name, has its capital in Stonia. Home of the Mother Curse of Drake's Spine it is ruled by Barnabas the Mere, dominant of Odin and Warden of Darkness. Okay, yeah. That's the one who was banging Bernedicta along with Hugo. Like he was banging, banging Bernedicta when she was apparently banging Hugo. We were shot of Titans, Lot. In pile Odin's. Not enough of them to worry us, though. No. You didn't see the one who took Kukra away. So, what? You think they came here to save him? But who saved him? Well, I'll be fucked if I know what's going on, but every minute we it spend looked like, like the guy bastards getting further away. Who has Bahamut. At least that's what I thought it looked like. So what do we do? But why would he be working with Odin? Group? We go back to the hideaway. Oh. I don't know. I'm too tired to think. As are you, by the looks of it. And after what Jill's been through. Let's worry about Kuka later, shall we? Yeah, baby mama yeah. needs a rest, so... Alright. It'll give us a chance to solve the riddle of your magic mud, too. Okay. All right. So, it's not Bahamut. Whoever it was is a dominant or something. Essentially, they're a dominant because they one punched him. I don't care if we just had that major fight. They punched is him in the gut and picked him up with one care hand of yourself? and carried him off. No more excuses, your ladyship. I order you to rest. <sighs> Fine. I'll rest. Don't worry, Gav. She's in good hands. But we should have never let her fall into Hugo's. Back when he had some like. The question <laughs> is, where is he now? <laughs> and what the hell were those wireless doing there? Hmm. I was wondering about that all the way home. Otto may have heard something. I'll talk to him. And I'll talk to Tomes. The Lawsman? About what? About your faithful hound for a start. If any four-legged friends ever done that before... Sage, if you get the power to turn into like some it. super cat, let me know, what okay? What I want to know is, what happens afterwards? It's all well and good Toggle saving our asses, but if it costs him what it costs Jill... Right. Let me know if you learn anything. Will do. And you do the same, eh? Jill. Listen to Taya. I will. Thank you. All right. Whew, bolts from the blue. The power of Titan. Okay.
More hunts. Muddy murder. Hawks cry cliff Rosaria. Rank A. Okay. 12,000 gold pieces. Okay, hold on. Wait. We are gonna go do that one right now. Um. Where was it again? <laughs> Hawks cry cliff. Okay. We're going there right now. Oh wait, um before we go there. Not all of the nobles made it out alive. Oh uh, fine, let's talk to him Otto first. Otto. Is now a good time? <laughs> it's not a bad one. How's Jill doing? Oh, she's been better. Ty is making sure she gets the rest she needs. Good. Any word on Kupka's movements? Vivian's doing what she can to try and track him, but she's feeding on scraps. Mm -hmm. We've sent owls out to the Curse Breakers and our other friends in the West, asking them to keep their eyes peeled for anything unusual. No leads yet, but it's only a matter of time. I mean, All right? Let me know when you find something. There he is. All right, Clive. How Still are busy you? saving the world. Mid. When did you get back? Mm, just now. Who is this? Studies. Adjourned. Since Hugo Kupka invaded Rosaria. All the canvas in uproar about it. He's gone mad. He's turned rogue. It'll be us next. You try concentrating with all of that. All right, all right. You win. How long will he be staying this time? Don't know. A while, most likely. Any road while I'm here, I was hoping you could do as a favor. Oh, that's Sid's daughter. You can't just expect me to. Please oblige her. <sighs> while we are busy tracking down Kupka, you should have a little time to spare. Professor, now there's a face I haven't seen in a while. Should you have it buried in a dusty old tome? <laughs> I did. Till a familiar trill pricked my ears. As ever, your exuberance is a breath of fresh air. Which successfully scattered the painstakingly assembled fragments of my thoughts. I'll take that as a compliment. Well, Clive, you heard the professor. So, I'll meet you in the story and when you're done. Wait, hold on! Definitely. Bloody tempest, more like. Definitely, said daughter. Oi, Otto, you got my gill. Huh? What are you all about? My fee for bringing Mid across. She said you were paying. That of course she did. The storeroom, was it? Of course she said I that. I wonder what Mid's plotting. <laughs> the little ones have been up to their old tricks. Oh, that... That little heifer! Alright, let's see if we can make something out of... Oh, apparently we can't. Clive? So, will it be? Okay, we can't make anything out of Titan stuff. Fine. Anything else? Fine. All right, let's go on this hunt real quick. It was Cliff. Cry something. Something cry Cliff, right? Yeah, Hawks cry Cliff. But where at? No, let's cry quick. I don't feel like going back to go look at the board, so let's just go. It's somewhere here. Oh, 
negative. Oh, yes? Oh, it's one of you! Flan! Flan Prince! No, 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 no! Get him, Torx! Oh no! Too far like the last one. <laughs> oh, dude. No, get 
back here. <laughs> you weren't thinking about that, were you? Barely got out of that one. Barely got out of that. There we go. Oh, notorious Mark Slain. Gelatina The ladder. It's dead now. Oh. Whatever it was. Cool. Alright. Ah, uh, back to the hideaway. Wow, it's only been an hour? God. Oh yeah, because I started with Kuka with Kuka's fight this time. Because I wanted to end the last one with Kuka's fight, but um, the ones as you saw, tricks again. Then time got away from me. <laughs> so I think the last one was about three and a half, four hours long. Come on, before the cut. So. Because that would have been a great, that would have been a great finish to a video. Is the Kuka fight? But it's also a great way to start a video too. What's up, you Mid? Took your time? I'm a busy man, Mid. I'll get to the point then. I want to turn the room down there into a workshop like the one I had at Dad's place. Mid, you've only just come back. And I've been thinking about it for a while. 
Dad said I had a knack for engineering. Told me everything he knew about it. Then sent me off to Canva to learn everything he didn't. That was his dream for me. That one day I'd put my studies to use for the good of the cause. But I'm helping no one stuck at school. I've studied enough. It's time I put my knack to work. I know that I can help the people here. And I want to do it. Well, well, well. It's sick to see you now. All right? I'll tell Otto you'll be staying. <laughs> I knew you'd say yes. Which is why I wrote up a list of jobs for you. For me? Excuse me? Who else? <sighs> what do you want me to do? First things first, I need equipment and materials to start making my own. There's the designs of the stuff I need and the stuff it needs smithing from. The other materials I can work myself. Just need a generous benefactor to lay them on for me. Apart from the wood, I'll need a carpenter for that, but I can just borrow yours. Is that everything? For now. I'll let you know if I need out else. <laughs> all right, all right, girl. Where to start? Materials and tools. That means Karen and Blackthorn. All right, the table. Oh, I still gotta go talk to Tombs. I haven't talked to Tombs in a while. I am not going the right way. Where am I going? Sid's gonna chop off Cooker's head this time. You were born in Russia, right. weren't you? I am gonna chop off Kuka's head next time. How's it coming along? Or bash it in as if one or the other. So somehow Kuka's gonna probably regain his hands. I don't know how, but somehow he's going to do it. Hey. Blackthorn, you busy? What does it look like? You're not I busy because you've been hammering you. the same From piece it. of metal since I met you. Tools. Do you think you can make them? Bloody hell. Was she planning to build with this stuff? An airship? Yeah. I'll see what I can do. Tell her I'll bring them over when I'm done. <sighs> My thanks. And mids, no doubt. All right, Karen. Was wondering where you got to. Mid's back from Canva. Have you seen her? Just now. She's planning to set up a workshop in the stores and ask me to buy her some materials. Here's the list. Watch none of this. I think is you cheap. can find everything on there. This lot. <laughs> Wouldn't be much of a trader if I couldn't. Thank Excellent. you. As for payment. It's paid. Hundred times over by what that girl's done for us. If it weren't for her filters, we'd have naught to drink but blight water, and that would have drained the life out of us long ago. Indeed oh. it would. I'll send the stuff on to Mid when it comes in. Thank you, Karen. Oh, so Mid's done a lot. Her. Let's see if Bardolph's available. Okay, now there's new stuff. Well, don't just stand there, Garvin. What's new? Oh, this is new. Hunter's Waste Claw. Okay. See, that's plus 10. Plus 1 HP, but plus 10 defense. See, I can do that. You're rubbing me blind, you know. Oh, no, I'm not. Shut up. But that's weaker. Oh, that's the one I already bought. I thought that was a different one. Nope, okay. Alright, let's redo potions. It'd better all be here. You're rubbing me blind, you know. No, I'm not. Shut up. You'll not find a better price than that. Mm, maybe. You're maybe right. Finished, are you? Yo, buddy. 
Back are ya? I got the money to buy up your whole shop. Sorry, now, show me what you got. Grindstone. There we go. Plus, th that's what I'm talking about. It lasts mm. you a good while. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, I can actually make. Oh, I can only make one. I can only make one. I can only make one. I just bought a new belt too. But it does. Son of a biscuit. Son of a biscuit. Son of a biscuit. Budget. Okay, fine. No scratches, right? Shut up. Uh. I mean, obviously, it's gonna be from another hunt, most likely. Um, let's go check out my letters. Then let's go back and talk to Bardo. Homecoming. I apologize for what happened at Rosalith. I fear what might have been, what have. But might have been had not you oh you gav and torgo fought so fiercely once again you were there when i needed you most and for that i shall forever be grateful seeing the city i had once come to know as my home reduced to flame and rubble has left me with much sadness in my heart but the time for looking back is beyond us we must focus on the here and now our memories will be waiting for us will be waiting for us when this is all through true I mean, don't sell yourself short, m'lady. You were kicking ass and taking names the entire time. If I hadn't been distracted and turned away, then you wouldn't have even got captured. It's all right. He does nothing to fight. Me and Kupka would have had it out right then and there. Jill looked white as a sheet. <laughs> Oiling this could Yo, buddy. How do, Master Sid? Bardolf. Mid's looking to build a workshop in the storeroom, and she needs the aid of a skilled carpenter. So naturally, I thought of you. Well, I'd love to help the young miss however I can, but I'm afraid I got my hands full just keeping this place afloat. There's holes need patching, and if I don't patch them, will all of us sink into the mere? Mm. I gladly spare mid all the time I have, but the sad truth is I ain't got none. <sighs> I see. That's, it don't that's have fair. to be me though, does it? What about that other fella? You know, the one over at Martha's Rest. Bernard, was it? That's right. And he is a friend of the cause. I'll ask Martha if she can spare him. Thank you, Bardolf. <laughs> Least I could do. I mean, dude, what can I do for you? You're keeping us afloat. Yeah, what what can I do for you, sir? That's that's the question. All right, so I'm assuming that now this is the died down part. So more intensity picks up. You know that part in the game where they give you a break and you're like, oh, they drew this out because it's unnecessarily long and whatnot. It takes away from the story and all this other stuff. This is seems like this is that moment. Every Final Fantasy game does. Ah, Clive, what brings you to the rest? Our uh, home finds itself in need of an extra carpenter. I wondered if I might be able to borrow Bernard for a short while. I don't mind if he don't. We're all friends here, aren't we? Thank you, Martha. Do you know where I might find him? He went up to Cressida on business. No idea what, mind. Place is a ruin. Far as I know, he's still there. I'll look for him there then. And where is this? Oh, okay, he's not far. Fly, Ambrosia. Um, she can't fly. I know what you mean, but she can't fly. Let me line her like that.
Alright. What are you doing? Oh, there's monsters. I'm gonna have to go kill all the monsters. Oh, if it ain't the lad who saved my life. What brings you to a place like this? You do, Bernard. Martha said I might find you here. I have a proposition for you. Oh, do you know? Yep. Wait, so how do people refer to the men? They, like, if they call her Sid's wife. Well, that beats tacking boards to bridges, sure enough. I mean, not Sid's wife, Sid's and daughter. If Martha didn't mind me being gone a while, then neither do I. You just tell me where you want me. <laughs> That's the spirit. I, uh. Because I, I took on Sid's ask name. A favor, though, could I? Before we go? Of course. One second. All right, we be back. Well, that there is Cressida, where I grew up. Ain't much left of it now, though. Except my parents' graves. Yeah, I'm sorry, buddy. But I, I came up here hoping to visit. I even patched up the bridge to get across. Only to find the place crawling with fiends. But you're a dab hand when it comes to dealing with beasts and bogles, ain't you? Any chance you could... Uh, it's the least I can do. I got you covered, bro. Thank you kindly. And take care. I got you. Don't worry about a thing. Oh wait, this is the perfect time to switch my icons. Okay, so I love the grapple. I hate, I hate Ramu's thing. I do. I hate his blind justice thing. I really do. So it looks like I got three, three more icons to get. Looks like I have, yeah, I have probably about three. Okay. Thirty five hundred points. <laughs> what? what is that? Wow. That's that's so cool. <laughs> okay. So let's go ahead and launch up the three counterattacks. Let's go ahead and mash this. Yeah, red meter is best. All right, so Phoenix, Garuda, and Titan. So, 
That's fine. That's two and three. That's two and three. Yeah, but that's AoE, and this brings him into the air. Yeah, but a lot of enemies don't freaking jump up. So. I thought. Whoops. Um, increases shock waves. Oh, seven. So yeah, okay. That's fine. I've been doing this with the basic level the whole time. One upgrade widens area of effect and increases potency. Okay. All right, we cooking now. Oh wait, yeah. Oh yeah. Go! Let's go! Take long. Stay down. Mm. Okay, so now it just does. Okay. So now choose the standard.
So I, it, it, I gotta get used to the time block with Titan. And I have to remember that it does not stop their second follow up attack if they have one. That should do okay. it. I also <laughs> really sure like how the lot. Titan sword looks. Thank you, son. I like the Ramu anyway, sword better, but I do like more. the Titan sword. I How never made the storm the cry, was abandoned. not to use it anyway. Oh, people started packing their things after the duchy fell. Between the Blight and the Imperials, you just couldn't make ends meet. Must be nigh on a decade since the last wagon left. Wow. Oh, it may as well have been a century, looking at the place. This isn't the Cressida I remember. I'm sorry. Don't be. Can't live in the past. That's true. No matter how nice it Gotta move forward. Gotta keep soon pushing. As I'm done saying a prayer for those that raised me. It's onto your hideaway. I'll meet you there. That should take you. Okay, now let's go back to the hideaway and see what mid is actually cooking up. Expect them to do. There's nothing to do here. <laughs> Shouldn't you be getting some rest? Nope, no time all right, to Clive. rest. You've all done then. I am. I've placed your various orders, and a carpenter by the name of Bernard is on his way from Martha's rest. That's brilliant. Thanks, Clive. You're welcome. Is there anything else you need? Nope. Blackthorn and Lady Karen have already sent over everything I asked for, and I've got all my plans drawn up. So as soon as Bernard gets here, we can get to work. <laughs> I can't wait. What exactly are you doing, though? What are you doing is the question. This is wind up all down. <sighs> That's my good deed for the day done. Let's see how Jill's faring. Oh, there's more side quests. Why couldn't why couldn't you pop up earlier? That way I could have did you while I was out running her errands, god damn it. Ah, Clive. Talia. How's Jill? Recovering, but she still needs her rest. That's fine with me. Of course. Take good care of her, won't you? I'll do my best. Oh, Gav was looking for you. He said he had something to show you in the shelves. Okay. The shelves. Oh, that's right. He went to ask Hippocrates about Togo. He must have found something. Let's hope so. Oh. You have the look of a man with the twins upon his shoulders, Rodrigue. Taya has tasked me with removing a curse breaker's brand. It's my first time, and I, I don't think I can do it. I'm afraid of what happens if I fail. Well, you survived, I know, but there are as many die as recover. Is oh, wow, really, really? Worth the risk. You don't need me to answer that. You know full well what we're fighting for. I hope as much as you that one day bearers can walk among others as equals. But until that day... A brand they can't just burn it off? And we must lift that burden. 
in order to go undetected. The operation may be dangerous, but it's also essential. And we undergo it willingly. I oh, know. I still wish there was some other way. But griping about my lot helps no one, I suppose. Don't worry. I'll do what must be done. I know you will. Unfortunately, the first thing that he's doing is the preparation of a draft to dull the pain. Mm -hmm. Something I can't do with the infirmary's ammonia supply so low. What few leaves we have would barely be enough for removing a splinter, let alone a brand. Hmm. Just tell me what you need. You, you'll go. Oh, thank you. No one knows her blood like Taya, and she swears by ammonia for easing pain. It's simple enough to find if you know where to look. Unfortunately, as with you, everything, if you know where to look, it's easy Long to find. Near the village of Amber, over in Rosaria, just search for the bright blue blossoms. Oh, what you? Oh, you I thought that was the other guy, the one who helped Black. A team of curse breakers has gone missing near Northreach. Which team? Coles. They were sent to liberate a carriage of bearers before they could be smuggled to market. They were moving in for their assault when the carriage was attacked by goblins. A curse breaker managed to release a stolas amid the confusion, but. This was days ago. They should be back by now, but I've heard nothing from any of them. Mm. I can't help but worry that... They know the work is dangerous. But I'm sure they're fine. But what if I've got them all killed? It's not your fault. Before they go out, I always remind them why we're doing this. What they escaped. And what we're freeing people from. But I never really thought how my words might affect them. What risks they might take because of the things I've said. I'll go and find them. <sighs> Leader's remorse. We'll both rest easier knowing they're safe. Thank you, Sid. And I'm sorry to trouble you with this. The plan was to intercept the slaver somewhere in the dragon's airy. I can't tell you much more than that, I'm afraid. That should be enough to go on. If they were there, Torgal will track them down. Actually, yeah, let's go find out about Torgo real quick. What news do you have of my, <laughs> my amazing, mysterious pup? Oh, sheet when they call to that. Clive, where have you been? What do you mean? I've, I've been, been running errands. something about Torgal. Where did you get him? Like, in the first place? Uh, my father brought him back from one of his expeditions into the Northern Territories. They were crossing a snowfield when they heard his cries, and seeing no sign of his pack, they took him in. What do you reckon, Tomes? It certainly adds weight to the theory. Clive, I believe that Torgal may be no mere hound, but a rare frost wolf. An animal native to the far northern reaches of Valisthea. Mm. In one of our oldest bestiaries, I found reference to a frost wolf who served as guardian to an ancient queen of the north. Such was his mastery over ether, he could cast magics on command. His or name can... was Fenrir. Oh, Fenrir what? the frost wolf. Earlier, in one of my earlier videos, I mentioned Fenrir as like, why is Fenrir in here? Because that would be fantastic. But I have reason to believe this queen was a dominant of Shiva, a girl from the Northern Territories and her faithful hound. One awakens as the dominant of Shiva and the other. You're saying that Jill granted Toggle his powers. Hmm. What? Just like Fenrir. People called him my hound, but 
Torgal and Jill were inseparable. He grew up as a faithful companion to the dominant of Shiva, and years later, his powers awakened. Oh. Just when his master needed him the most. You're right. If it weren't for Torgal blasting those bastards to kingdom come, Jill would have been for it. Quite. Though Torgal's power is his own. His latent birthright as a Frostwolf. It had only to be unlocked. Hmm. Oh, get you, Torgal. <laughs> You're an even finer hound than we thought. Oh. And regarding your original concern, you need not fear for Torgal's health. Why, the beast has the appetite of a behemoth. <laughs> Just this very morn, I found him with his nose buried in my nuts. Freezing. There you are. What do you want? I've been looking everywhere for you. Bernadette. I left you I like you so so five minutes ago. I shall be a moment. I left you all of five to ten minutes ago. What are you talking about? You've been looking for me everywhere. I'll pay you back. I'm gonna worm my fingers to the bone for you lot. Starting right now. Just you wait. I'll make wonders like this world's never seen. Then I look forward to seeing them. Okay. So what are we doing down here? Now that that's settled, I wonder if Vivian's made any progress tracking down Kupka. Huh. We got side missions to do, my dude. Dungeoneer. Wait till mid's away. It's taking too long. How goes the hunt for Kupka? Largely in circles. We have myriad sightings of strange soldiers in unexpected places, mm. but nothing definitive as yet. Okay. If only we knew for certain by what route he left Rosalith. Well, keep at it. If anyone can piece this puzzle together, it's you. And I'm willing to wait as long as it takes. As long as it's not another five year time skip. Just saying. <laughs> Are we just gonna stand here? What? Here? <laughs> Would that be a problem? Do you know, Clive? I believe it a mercy that you didn't inherit your father's throne. Your poor people would surely live in fear of you. You have nothing to worry about on that front. I won't be claiming his crown. <laughs> that is a relief. Uh, Clive, have you got a minute? We, um, have a guest. Really? A guest? Hmm? For your trouble. Oh my god. It was a pleasure being you know, hindsight. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Byron? Why is he. Drive, my boy! Why are you here? Have a cask and stoke the ovens for your favorite uncle is here. <laughs> That's, this is not good. He can't be seen with us. He 
Dalmechian government sues for peace. How shall we respond? If they're willing to accept their fault in the matter, I see no reason to refuse them. <laughs> Still, we must insist on substantial reparations. The twin side stores are not as bottomless as reported. Aye, and we have many more mouths to feed. We shall just have to have the Dalmex empty their treasuries for us. Of course, none of this would have been possible without your timely intervention, Prince Olivier. Indeed, I doubt any of us oh. have the courage to trade words the mighty titan, nor less the wit to win him over. The Empire owes you a great debt. Ah. May the blessing of the crystals go with you, Your Highness. May the blessing of the crystals go That was him. Very good. He can gr he can because he doesn't look that tall, but he can grow and then shrink. Now let us come to the question of I'm precisely assuming when he can... the Dalmex will withdraw their hmm. troops. Leon's fire could rid us of them in mere moments. The men of the fists will not withdraw until a peace treaty is concluded. So let us keep the negotiations open, give them time to gather what gold and trinkets they can, and once they deliver that which we demand, what worth is a piece of parchment? <sighs> Your Radiance, were Prince Dion to take the field, the enemy would surely send their own dominant to meet him. And while His Highness would of course prevail, there would be heavy losses on both- You need not fear Hugo Kupka. He is engaged on the Western Front. Even were the Dalmex to send for him, he would not arrive in time. As much as I would enjoy witnessing a clash between Bahamut and Titan, it is not to be. No. Okay. And so, what correction. Are your subjects, Your Radiance. Okay, so I was wrong. Completely if wrong. If the fighting spread to the city proper, the people would bear the brunt of it. There will be losses, it is true. Yet for every citizen who falls, another can be bred. For every home that burns, another can be built. The Empire will live on. Oh. Dion? Yes, sir. Like, I'm Bahamut. First off. In all honesty, if I was a dominant, I'd probably be like Kuka. Listen, I'm your last line of defense, so... I'm not just gonna go do any willy-nilly thing you want me to do. this for prepare for battle but sire do not make me repeat myself return to your camp and await my orders if that is your wish your radiance I shall depart at once. You're Bahamut, dude. If you don't want to do something, don't do it. Stab her in the face. Ugh. In. Gin pussy. May Gregor forgive you. What do the astrologers augur? The stars are in agreement, your radiance. The shadow of treachery hangs over Prince Dion. So 
Annabella's tales were true. You disappoint me, Dion. So there's some voodoo witch lady, I guess. Who's yeah? This is starting to get just one thing after another around here. Gonna find out. I would definitely be like Koopa though. I was a dominant. I would not put up with BS. Ah, my dear nephew, how I've missed you. <laughs> how did you find this place, Uncle? Through the good offices of young Sir Wade. He really is the most of course. helpful. Of course, of Wade told him. As are you, I hear. The guardians and those they freed tell the most outlandish tales of your heroics in Rosalith. Which is why I came, to learn the full truth of the matter. Sort the fact from the fiction so to speak. You were working with the Guardians of the Flame to evacuate the people of Rosaleth to Port Isolde. I was. Aye. Then I have questions for you. Please, well, uh, come inside, Uncle. Gladly. Uh, you there? There are 2,000 gold talents in those chests. See that they're added to my nephew's coffers, would you? He wants attention. Two. Well, well, stop. It is not dinner time yet. And I'm afraid that is all I know. A fleet sailing south past Port Isolde. Most intriguing. Forgive me for not being able to tell you more. I hadn't the faintest idea Kupka withdrew wounded from Rosalith. Still less that my own nephew dealt the decisive blow. What do you think, Vivian? I think, with this news of the Dalmechian fleet and recent reports of the Royalists' movements, that the final piece of the puzzle has fallen into place. Meaning? Come here and I'll show you. It is known that Kupka's forces entered Rosaria via its unguarded coast. So can the same be said of your visitors from Walud? Certainly her royal navy is famed for the efficiency with which it bears her knights from one battlefield to the next. Hmm. And in the Ein Heyar, or Black Galleon, she boasts a vessel nigh as swift, and every bit as feared as the kingdom's legendary cavalry. A fitting flagship for a land apart, her naval presence being crucial to her ambitions beyond Ash. Yes, it seems safe to assume that the Royalists did indeed enter Rosaria from the sea. So then, had you a vested interest in Titan's survival, whither would you take him? Why home to Drake's Fang? A place rich enough in ether to conjure the magics needed to mend his hurts. Ah, uh, yeah. But would that not entail an arduous voyage around the Southern Cape? Let us say that the Royalists did put ashore with a mind to spirit Kupka away from under your very nose. Could that truly have been their plan for him? To load him aboard one of the ships flying Republican colors sighted off the coast near Port Isolde. To spend weeks at sea being tossed hither and yon by unforgiving waves, his life hanging in the balance. Yeah, no, that doesn't make sense. No. The journey would mean Titan's death, and Kupka's faithful creatures would not allow it. So what then was the plan of our Waluda friends? Reports suggest they made not for the coast, but for the desert. And by cutting through the Velcroy, a party traveling light would have Titan back in his bed days before a galley could lurch into port. To wit, it was the Royalists, not the Republicans, who effected Hugo Kupka's safe retreat. 
I would stake your life on it. Okay. So it was the Waludas who spirited the wretch away. Now I think about it, there was something a little strange about the ships I saw. The men seemed almost crestfallen, as if in mourning, as if they believed, or were made to believe, that their master was dead. <laughs> you have a keen mind, Lord Rosfield, and mm. you have your answer. To find Kupka, you have merely to follow the Royalist trail across the Velcroy. It may well have gone cold by now, but as they say in the Republic, all roads lead to Drake's Fang. Uh, allow me to accompany you part of the way. Why? As luck would have it, I had intended to journey Camberwood on business after visiting you here. The Fang would be but a short detour. I'd be glad of the company. Give me a moment to make ready. I need to tell my friends what we've learned and where we're going. Very well, but be quick about it, my boy. Time waits for no man. Okay. All right. Mid's finished outfit now. I gotta go do those side quests. Otto, Kupka's at Drake's Fang. I'll be leaving before sunset. You're not going in there alone, are you? Don't worry. I'm not going there to destroy the Mother Crystal. All I'm after is Kupka's head. I won't risk any more than I have to. I promise. The lands around the Fang are all Kupka's personal fiefdom. Mm -hmm. You have any trouble on the way, you ask for Rosina Dalamil. Some call her the Desert Hare. Okay. Who is she? An old associate of Sid's. And only Sid's. All I know is the name. And that they used to meet at the Dalamil Inn. We've heard nothing from her since he died. But I'm thinking maybe the new Sid might be able to bring her back into the fold. Thanks. I'll keep that in mind. So, uh, what about your uncle? I, I mean, he's welcome to stay, but... Don't look so worried. <laughs> He'll be coming with me. Don't worry about Thank it. I got that. him. I got him. Gav, Otto, I'm leaving you two in charge. You can count on us. All right, Unc, let's go. All right, Uncle. I'm ready to depart. Shall we? We shall. Come, let us away to adventure. Don't sound too excited now, Unc. Okay, chill out. Okay. Should I do these side missions first? I really want to get through the main story. And these side missions are becoming more and more of a distraction. I don't want to miss anything important or good. Like, I could have missed Ambrosia if I didn't do the side missions. So, I'll probably do them later. We'll do them off camera. That's also a possibility. I was a young man when last I walked this path. There's an old trading post not far from here. The road to Drake's Fang leads through it. The trading post it is. Oh, my uncle's gonna be with me. This isn't good though. If they see him with me and put it together and then inform the Imperial, then he's gonna be fucked. Our destination lies over that dune, beyond the ruins. Mark him well, Clive. It's all too easy to lose one's bearings in the sands. Ready, go? Faster! And I'd rather not see my uncle, you know, get executed and lose Many years everything. Ago, when you were just a boy. You and I rode this way together. 
accompanying your father on a scouting expedition to Drake's Fang. He let me come with you. I'm not surprised you don't remember. It was just before Joshua was born. Mm. You were so eager to be there when your brother arrived that you whipped your chocobo too hard on the journey home and fell from the saddle. <laughs> I'm sorry, Ambrosia. I shall never forget how Elwyn fussed over you as you sat in the sand, bawling like a babe. Not funny. Do you think those soldiers are? Same. Ah, there she is. The good old Dalamil Inn. Do you know, this heat has given me quite a thirst. Uh, quick drink before we press on? I mean, we're, we're right here. Oh, you meant at the inn. Uh oh. Look there. Those are ashen steeds. No doubt about it. And such a long ride from Stone here. Our Waluda friends must be soothing their saddle sores in the inn. Shall we join them? Run along and play now, Torgal. Dogs aren't allowed inside. <laughs> yeah, because we don't look like we're up to to no good. Day to you. Eating? <laughs> Sorry about my pal. He only talks when his mouth's full. What do you recommend? Well, if you're after something light, we do a fine chocobo soup with Oh no! Honey. I don't want to eat a bowls of that then. An ale. Right you are. Hey, go! Coming! <laughs> Your pal? <laughs> Would you rather be my squire? Joshua. Hmm, <coughs> it's getting worse. Your Grace, it is plain you are not yet well enough to travel. If you would only let me take you to someone who can better attend to your ills. No. We must press on. Prince Dion has returned to his camp and will soon depart for the front. I must speak with him at all costs. Miss this chance and I may never get another. You do understand that? Yes, Your Grace. But you must at least agree to take your medicine. I'll fetch you some water. Okay, so if he's in that room, who's in the other room?
We're in the same building! Uh, this sucks. <laughs> I mean, it's interesting. I like how they did this. We're literally in the same building. Keep watch, they tell us. But all I see is sand. I hear they got our guest back to the Fang without any trouble. We'll be leaving soon enough. Why the Lord Commander dragged us all this way just to save that blockhead skin, I'll never know. Dominant or not, he's a bloody idiot. That'll be Kupka, then. <laughs> oh, uncle. Well, let's get this down us. We have a long way to go. Hey. God damn. You. God damn it. Oh, fuck it. God damn, uncle. God damn it. Uncle. <sighs> Sorry. Don't make me do this. Can you walk, Your Grace? What's wrong? I fear trouble may be brewing downstairs. You two are travelers, are you not? <laughs> Me and my companions are strangers here. Perhaps you'd be good enough to accompany us a while. Come on, help us find our way. Nah. Sorry, lads. But we've got business in camera that can't wait. Ah, I'm sure you could spare us an hour or two. Come on, come on. Come on. friend. To lose. Friend. Stay back, Uncle. Gladly. <laughs> That's something like out of a cartoon movie. <laughs> oh. oh, wait, I'm biting. Try it. Lady, I didn't mean to destroy all your chairs and tables. Oh, I got $83,000. I'll pay for it. Trouble. <laughs> uh, word of advice, miss. That soup could do with a touch more salt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Now's our chance. Your Grace? I'm fine. 
So she doesn't know what I look like, obviously. What is it now? <laughs> I can't tell you. It's nothing. Let's go. Can't tell you. Can't tell you. Can't tell you, Unc. Then that'll, that'll definitely blow your mind. 100%. to find Kupka before, we do now. The Rawlers said to themselves, their guest is in the Fang. We should press on before any more of their friends turn up. Yes, we definitely should. Oh, too late. Ah, they've closed the road. And it's the only way from here to the Fang. It would seem Lord Kupka is not accepting visitors at present. We have to get through that gate. Uh, not by force, I trust. We've attracted quite enough unwanted attention already. By guile, then. Only because the hair can offer us her aid. You couldn't keep Rosina your mouth Jalamil, shut. Woman of mystery. But how will we find her? We know naught of her but her name. And that she was working with Sid. Sid's other collaborators have all been people of means. The wealthiest and most successful members of their communities. I'll wager this Rosina Dalamel is the same. That would certainly help to narrow the search. We need only inquire as to who is in charge of the town. And that's exactly what I mean to do. Hmm. Looks like we won't be getting back to Drake's Fang anytime soon. Well, it's not like we've got a reason to. Why with this emergency is they've shut down the whole mine. So I was about to say, who am I actually searching for? Light it for Gilbert's sake! You're a bearer, aren't you? Anything I can help you with, travelers? Allow me. My good man, we represent one of the oldest and greatest trading houses of Port Isolde. We're seeking to expand our business in the region and would very much like to make the acquaintance of Dalamil's leading entrepreneurs. <laughs> if only we knew where to find them. Hmm. Well, we're best known for our baths, our markets and our smithies. I suppose you could do worse than start your search at one of those. Thank you. You've been most helpful. Oh, um, you wouldn't happen to know a lady by the name of Rosina Dalamil, would you? No, I can't say I do. Well, thank you all the same. All right, Unc. That's that, um, that smooth businessman. I won't keep you long. 
I'm looking for someone. A woman by the name of Rosina Dalamil. Do you know her? Never heard of her. Is that all? One more question. If I wanted to find the richest trader in town, where would you recommend that I look? Well, that's easy. The Briar's Kiss. I don't find a finder smithy this side of the strait. The owner's only a young sprig, but he's got all the right ideas. The Briar's Kiss, you say? Thank you. Huh? I doubt this young sprig is the person we're looking for. You said Sid's contact was likely to be an influential sort. Influence Maybe comes be... with age and experience. Believe you me. Mummy, I want to play with the crystal. Mm, we don't know that. Can I help you? Yes, I'm looking for a woman by the name of Rosina Dalamil. A long-standing pillar of your community, I believe, from old trading stock. Then you should ask further. He's been here for years. Knows the place and its people like the back of his hand. And he's in with all the old merchant families. Try the baths. That's where you'll usually find him. Okay. Thank you kindly. Well, it sounds like we have our man. Perhaps. Let's go and find out exactly what this Ferda knows. Wait, incense! What wax candle? Yo, buddy. Excuse me. Are you Ferda? I am. Can I help you, travelers? I hope so. You've lived here for some time, is that correct? Do you know Rosina Dalamil? We believe she may be a trader of some renown. And what business do you have with the desert hare? She was a close friend of mine. I was hoping she might be able to help me. Very well. Go to the bordello. I'll arrange an introduction. Hmm. Silver platter! Do you think we can trust him? Only as far as I... Far, yeah. So you're the ones who've been sniffing around. Mm-hmm. I beg your pardon. Don't play the fool. Stick your nose in our business and you're likely to lose it. <sighs> Do you really? Back up. Gun. Oh, it's on set. You want it? You're lucky you're not dead. Who are you working for? Him or her? Uh, uh, him. The, the boss. And he wanted us to test you. Though one could hardly call that a test. Lord Ferda? Look what the cat dragged in. Your skill with the blade is rare indeed, my lord. A fitting talent for an outlaw. You know who I am. So what now? Call in the men of the rock and collect the bounty? That isn't my decision to make. I mean, I can kill all Our of you. Our work is done. Take him to meet his precious Rosina. She will be interested to make his acquaintance. I, I'd kill all of you. Yes, my lord. You're lucky I did not kill you. To the you. lock of leisure, then. To the lock of leisure. <laughs> I'm gonna try that again. The stoneware. 
Fresh bread, warm from the oven. Yeah, hmm? have a taste. Once you go flat. Oh. Take a sniff, good sir. The finest fabric. Whatever, guys. <laughs> hey, Sage. Neighbor girl. Is this the place? Lubos Forge. The Briar's Kiss. Ah, so it was the young sprig after all. So much for Rosina Dalamil being a woman of experience. How wrong I was. It was an easy mistake to make, Uncle. After all, it must have been years since Sid last saw her. Sorry, him. Whoever this Lubor truly is, he's clearly a man of means. I'd say he deserves our respect. See that he gets it. Shut up. Before I put you back on the ground. See that he shut the fuck up. Lord Ferda told me to bring them to you. My boys tell me you're in need of assistance. Sid the second? <laughs> I won't waste your time. I need passage through the south gate. <laughs> Tell me, what do you think is a merchant's most important commodity? Information. Why trust? Everyone ah. knows that. Without it, you have nothing. <laughs> And nothing is exactly what you have. And so, for you, I, too, have nothing. I'm not in the business of helping every lost puppy that wanders in off the street. I'm a busy man, as you can see. Let's leave this mama to his farce. By all means. Find someone else to help you on your way. Just be sure to tell them you're not the two travelers from the inn the guards are looking for. Don't want them jumping to conclusions, do we? Why, you... Remember, I can put you down. So, what do we need to do to earn your trust? Hmm. Yeah, I would be bad at these situations, because my blade like would be at one. his throat and I would just do chop his head off. What he wants. <laughs> Men like you have a special place in my heart. Why, you ask? Because they get me what I want. Always. Fine. So what do you want? Don't tell me you're going to listen to this swaggering scruff. We might as well hear him out. It's only natural that an ally of Sid's would seek assurances of strangers. Assuming he is an ally, of course. Five years ago, he would have still been a boy. And yet even then I had more good sense than a man... Oh, five times my age? But enough of the pleasantries. We were speaking of what I want. I want you to put an end to the trouble in Dalamil. Why? Return to me when you have done so, and you shall have my aid. Until then, I bid you good day. What trouble? If you're going to give us orders, be clear about them, damn you! Manners, Greybeard. One catches more damselflies with honey than with vinegar. What did you call me? My apologies. A word of advice in recompense. Follow the crystals. Oh, but that was three. Oh, I'm making this too easy for you. Why don't I just go kick ha! down the easy. gate? Solving his little riddle should be like dealing with him. Child's play. Let us divide our forces, Clive. I'd rather not drag this parlor game on any longer than we need to. <sighs> All right. Good luck, Uncle. Night. Ugh. I thought we were the only ones causing trouble in Dalamil. Ah. 
But it's, it's a game. It's a fantasy game. This has to happen. Because I... Mm, 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 is it true there's been trouble with crystals of Child life? would be on the ground, his guard would be knocked out, and my boot would be to his on his that chest with my sword at his face. Pilfering Either you get me through the gate or this ends badly for you and all your friends. Stones. Us common folk have hardly had a shard to share between us these last few moons. And it isn't as if we can buy them on the black market either. Whoever's taking them, they aren't sharing. Hmm. But I am a douchebag, so <sighs> that's how I would approach the situation. <laughs> You wouldn't believe how much you gave me. What can I do for you, soldier? Need that sword polishing? I'm not a soldier. Oh, then be off with you. I serve the men of the rock and the men of the rock only. You have an agreement with them? Don't be stupid. I just know which side my bread is buttered. Don't want to be stuck under some pauper when they come knocking. With pockets deeper than Zemeckis and an urge to empty them. Look, just leave, will you? Before you scare them off. Oh, you're a harlot. Do you think gotcha. The, bread, warm from the, oven. the most fragrant herbs and spices. <laughs> Sword <Sorry>, pop. <laughs> uh. Do you have a moment? Depends what for. Just a question. Dalamil seems to be thriving compared to the other villages I came through on the way. Is there a reason for that? Well, we're a stone's throw from Drake's Fang for one. The soldiers guarding the Mother Crystal and the shipments need a place to spend their hard-earned gill. The men of the rock throw their money about like there's no tomorrow. Is that so? Well, thank you. Don't let me keep you from your work any longer. I think I'm starting to get an idea of what's been going on. Mm. Uncle Byron's learned anything of use. They'll probably be back at the inn by now. Oh, Kisney. What did he do? It's you, the one who broke all our furniture. Yeah. What do you want? Haven't you caused enough trouble already? I paid you for that. I'm looking for my pal. Have you seen him? The gentleman who was with you? Yes, he's upstairs, but. But thank you. I'll go and fetch him. But what? There was a but. Did you not hear the but in that sentence? At the end of that? Let Uncle. me treat you. I'm pretty Uncle, where are you? Huh? Why are you talking? Will this suffice as a deposit? By the sense. That's a black pearl. One of the many treasures in my collection that I would be only too happy to part with, should you give me reason to do so. All right. I'm sure that we can come to an agreement, but not here. What are you doing, Uncle? What are you doing? Seriously. First, he can't keep his mouth shut. Then, he's doing business with the ones we're trying to avoid. Can't explain why you're giving gifts to Kupka's men. Bait, my boy. One cannot catch one's prey without it. And I do believe I've snagged us quite the quarry. Mm. I started by asking around the markets as to where I might purchase crystals. I had no luck, of course. It's forbidden to trade in such things. Oh, is it? But my uncharacteristic indiscretion just happened to attract the attention of those uniformed ruffians. They took me aside and said they could procure the crystal I sought if I proved I could pay for it. So the pearl was your proof. <laughs> I thought they'd ask for more. 
A second-rate specimen like that would only fetch 500,000 or so. A small price to pay for admittance to the underworld. Fun. But enough about my little act of subterfuge. Small pittance of 500,000. God damn. That the okay. supply of crystals has dried up of late. And some people seem to think they're being stolen. Meanwhile, members of Kupka's private guard have been spending money all over town. I'll wager those soldiers you've been talking to have been siphoning off crystals meant for elsewhere and pocketing the profits. I'll wager you're right. Mm. We'll meet with them then, just as you arranged, and put an end to the trouble Lubor spoke of. Ha! That preening Popinjay thought this would be difficult. It's going to be it more difficult than show. we think it is. One should never underestimate a Rosfield. We'll soon wipe that smirk off his face. I arranged to meet with the soldiers in a secluded corner of the Velcroy, far from prying eyes. The perfect place for a spot of double dealing. I trust I can count on your support if things turn sour. <sighs> of course. I need to drink. Because up until now, the story quests have been hit, 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 hit. Keep going. So. This, this is nice. Ish. I'll take it from here. It, you know, the story needs to slow down for a little bit. But for how long will the story slow down? That's the question. That's ultimately the deciding factor of whether this is a good thing to do or not. Just slowing the story down too much drags it far longer than it needs to be. I was beginning to think you weren't coming, look. my lord. You've brought your contribution? All the silver and stones I could scrape together at such short notice? You brought the whole 500 talents. That was the price we agreed upon, yes? If you've no objections, I'd like to see the crystal. Of course. Right this way, my lord. Cool, god damn. Not bad at all. You weren't lying about the clarity. But what of security? If I were to be stopped on the road, what guarantee have I that it wouldn't be seized as property of the Republic? Because these crystals are no longer the property of the Republic. You're not buying from us. You're buying from them. And we have no more jurisdiction here than oh. you, my lord. But we have ships and will gladly deliver to a port of your choosing now that our price has been met. Oh. Royalists, eh? What brings you here? Why, to collect their share of Drake's Fang's blessing, of course. Our nations are allies, and so they are entitled to a portion of the Mother Crystal's bounty. And being such good friends, we elected to increase that portion and share the benefits. And now that these crystals are officially property of the Kingdom of the Lord, oh. we are duty bound not to interfere, no matter where they might happen to end up next. Did you get all that? They're in cahoots! <sighs> so it would seem. My lord, what is the meaning of this? Double-crossing dogs. They're not here to do business. <laughs> Kill, them. Kill them both! Oh. They were so happy to have Hey, get down here. Alright, who's that? No, I didn't want to keep targeting you. Oh, wrong one. I don't mean to do that, but oh well! Oh, ooh, no, you don't. No! Who's healing? 
There's another one? Oh. Find the healer. Find the healer. Kill the chocobos? Why did you bring chocobos? Oh, cool, we're killing the chocobos. I'm sorry, chocobo. I'm sorry. Why would you bring Chocobo? Like, even if you have a battle hardened Chocobo. No. Well, One that wasn't second. too bad. Oh, after this. That's like my performance, huh? I've often played the villain on the stage. I think I did the role <laughs> justice. Don't you? Graybeard, you are magnificent. The battle scene was particularly thrilling. Such a shame you didn't have more of an audience, but perhaps that's for the best. How long have you been watching? Long enough to witness your uncle's sordid transaction. I hardly expected one so venerable to degrade himself so thoroughly. Buying one's way into the confidence of degenerates. Ingenious. This was the trouble you spoke of. The men of the rock taking crystals meant for the common folk and conspiring with the royalists. Well, now it's over. Indeed it is. The people of Dalamil had scarcely any means of redress against Kupka's men, mm. let alone a foreign army. Until you two came along, that is. You're welcome. Well, we'd better get these crystals back to town. You won't mind waiting with them while I fetch a wagon. Dude, I need you to get me through the gate. Thank you. I think this is where I have to cut it because I we are at the two, almost three hours. It occurs to me that I still minutes. don't know your name. Clive. <laughs> so, Sid the Second is a Clive. <laughs> I suppose it could have been worse. Well, Clive, you held up your end of the bargain, so I must do the same. Passage through the South Gate, was it not? To tell the truth, you've helped a little there too. Many of the guards have already been redeployed to deal with the issue of their missing comrades. <laughs> and those left behind have been... Encouraged to look the other way should you attempt to pass through. Mm. Thank you. And please allow me to cover your costs. Uh, you still have the purse I gave to the soldiers, I trust. I saw you pluck it from one of the bodies. Willow, oh, what are you doing? Dear, was I really so obvious? And my name is not Greybeard. It is Lord Byron Rosfield. Thank you very much. No. no nope. just... Thank you very much. Greybeard. Double the. <laughs> Here, wear this. Another seal. 
Any friend of mine who sees you with it shall be a friend of yours. Thank you. Thank you, Lubo. And please, feel free to send one of my stolices back to your people. Why? Tell them that Rosina Dalamil is back in bed with Sid. I'm trusting you, Sid. Or should I say, Clive? So be sure not to let me down. I have a reputation to uphold. <laughs> Very well. Okay. Well then, I wish you a safe journey south. Thank you. Not at all. It was my pleasure. Come on, Uncle. Let's go. Quest complete. All right. This is where we're going to cut it cuz we're actually going in a lot harder than I thought we were going to go into as far as time goes. Today's been a long day. And then you have a... Oh, I'm about to say, and then you have a side mission for me? All right. All right, guys. Ah, oh, okay. This one's more chill. Started out. Started out hardcore with battling Koopka. Because, you know, I, ha I had to go at him. I had to. I had to. But it's nice slow pace now i hope it doesn't last too long because then it's just going to get annoying so hopefully it picks up and then probably the next next story mission or two like i'm going to give it two story missions max to pick back up before it becomes annoying um so on that note this is crozarian signing off until the next chapter in our next video you guys take care of yourselves